these are all different noodles and things, but I'm not really sure. <laughs> Never-ending fruit. Oh, <laughs> Got a nice little buffet style type thing for breakfast. You give you a plate of rice and you load it up. But we don't know what's in. But <laughs> give it a shot. Mm. So flavorful. Every bite is a little scary because we don't know what's in it, but it tastes good. So mine is all very spicy. Okay, there's our coffee. Thank you. Thank you. So one interesting, one interesting thing about Kuala Lumpur is that there's a ton of like cultural and religious diversity here. So here I'm standing in front of this uh, mosque in KL. We've also passed a Sikh temple today, um, a Buddhist temple, um, as well as a Hindu temple as well. So there's like so many different religions and nationalities represented here. It's pretty cool. This word is a mango. You see this chocolate cheese mango? is a little wonder. Hello, this is a traditional Malaysian house. Um, it's kind of cool, it's on stilts like this, and it's all made of wood. Crazy thing, if you back up, you can see the cityscape behind it. Actually, you can see the Petronas Tower sticking out right there. Found this mall to cool off in before we keep going. It's a big old screen. Hey, it's Boss Baby. The screen. Too bad we don't have dance lessons going on downstairs. Yeah. <laughs> We're drinking some much needed water and soaking in some much needed AC in the mall right now. At 11 a.m. on a Monday, though, the mall is pretty deserted. <laughs> So yesterday was really fun, but unfortunately we spent a lot of time lost trying to find different places. Um, and part of that right, it was because we were trying to use the kind of like dinky maps from this guidebook. But um, we have a travel life hack brought to you by our bro my brother Joe, uh, who texted me last night and told me that on Google Maps you can download an offline version of a city that's still searchable. And it's literally like saving our butts today because um, you can actually still see like where we are in the city and like get, and find ways to get around different places. So if you ever go to a city and you don't have cell service, Google Maps, get an offline version of the city's map, and you'll be good to go. So at the base of this KL Tower, uh, there's this place called the Eco Park, which is supposed to be the largest and oldest protected jungle in Malaysia. We're gonna explore. It's cool because it's like a protected jungle. It really is, just in the middle of the city. Kind of Central Park has much longer. set up a self timer and my goal is to get down there, down those stairs, within 10 seconds to get in the picture, okay? So, on your mark, get set. <laughs> oh my gosh! So we're checking out this place per a suggestion from Aunt Deborah, Central Market, since 1888. Ella just had a realization. <laughs> what did you realize, Ella? I think this is where I got my ears pierced with um, Anna and Laura, maybe Claire. 
Then Claire had to repair some of them because they weren't all straight. Sounds like 10 years ago. Yeah. Wow. It's really fun how familiar this is. It's all coming back to me. Up on the second floor, there's a food court. Time. We've got some rice and noodles and apple juice. It's just apple blended up. What do you think? So good. Apple juice is literally just an apple like <laughs> juiced and put in a cup. It's crazy. So amazing. Tastes like you're sucking up an apple. It does. So. Made it to the back two caves. We're gonna go on down to the main entrance. Here's the main entrance. You gotta go up a bunch of stairs. This guy's waiting and waiting. Finally, hey. Ella gets up. Singing pictures. 272 stairs. Now, let's go into the cave itself. The cave is both a natural wonder and a sacred place for Hindus. Thank you. That's a delight place. Inside Batu Caves, you can see parts of KL. One thing that's interesting we haven't talked about is like all those high rises right there are all in the process of being built. You can see a huge crane next to them, which is like cool or interesting uh, in terms of like in terms of like the urbanization of Malaysia and Asia in general and kind of the world. I dare you to pet the monkey. No. Scared monkey. Taking an afternoon relaxing swim. It feels good to cool off. <laughs> Hello, John. I don't think Hello. that had the effects that you were going for. What effects did you have? Taking a relaxing swim this afternoon to cool off. It's a pretty great view. choice on this trip. Ella's book of choice on this trip. What book is it? Surprise by Oxford. Is it good? My book is really good. Thankful we didn't get stuck out in this rain today. Like we did yesterday.
I bought this shirt. What do you think of the rotate, John? Oh, it's really good. <laughs> it's so delicious. This works with 10 night. So good. Getting a green tea with flurry. McDonald's. Ella, try it. What do you think? New favorite. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs>